guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I thought I would do a reseller inventory room tour. So uh, this is the room that I use to house all of my inventory that I am selling. Um, I have uh, about 360, as of today at least, active listings for sale. So in this room are all of those items. This is um, our fourth bedroom. We have a four bedroom house and this is one of our extra bedrooms that I have converted into my inventory room. So I'm standing at the door. So when you stand in the doorway, this is what you see. And I have it pretty well organized. I had a lot of free time over quarantine and we started with cleaning out our own items and it's just compiled from our own items, items I've thrifted and garage sailed and I have it pretty organized and clean in here so I thought I would share how I have everything set up. So once I walk in from the door, I am going to the back of the room now. This is what you see from the back of the room and I'm going to pan around to the other side. I have like my shipping station in here, which I'll go over with you. And then there is actually a closet in here that I use for my own clothes. So like this is my own personal clothing that I'm keeping, not selling. And then everything aside from this closet here, this closet actually runs from this wall all the way to that wall. So it's a really like long closet. And then everything else is inventory. So to start off with, I've got one, two, three, four racks in here, clothing racks. And then I have two shoe racks here. These are all shoes that I'm currently selling. Um, again, everything in this room with the exception of in here is all for sale right now in my eBay store. So it's just a pretty good system that I have. I have like a lot of open floor space, which is really nice. I could probably probably maneuver another rack in here, but I really wanna keep my inventory at this level. So let's start here on the first rack. This rack my husband actually built. It's hard to see because there's bins on it, um, but he built this rack several years ago for me. It just has a wooden platform with you know all my bins on it and I like to keep this the most scarce because I use this rack um, for like new inventory that I get that needs to be hung up photographed edited you know the photos have to be edited and listed so I try to keep this the most bare out of all of them um, on here right now I just have a random robe that's for sale because I didn't really know where to put the robe this is a project dress it's a torrid uh, project dress that needs a little bit of help so I'm figuring out what I want to do with this um, because I have to list it the rest of stuff on this rack um, are it's sort of like random so if, for example there's like this pajama Wonder Woman random thing there's a random bathing suit cover and then the rest are dresses and skirts that are hanging I have scarves here and then I have random like backpacks handbags purses hanging on that hook and this is where I use to house this platform is where it houses a majority of my bottom so I have them categorized uh, for what makes the most sense for me. So this bin are women's leggings and pants that are not jeans. This bin is very full right now because I just stumbled um, a couple weeks ago on an Under Armour liquidation sale. So I was able to, not really a sale, it was more like a person who used to work for Under Armour was liquidating a ton of their bottoms. But anyways, um, this bin will not close right now because it's so full and as you can see I really have them packed in so that is women's bottoms that are not jeans underneath that I have men's jeans pants and shorts most of my inventory is our women's items so I always have less men's but this bin is decently full and it houses any kind of men's bottom so like sweats um, you know workout shorts jeans things like that this smaller bin here I have women's and kids actually the kids should be crossed off because I have a separate kids bin now so this is women's shorts shorts take up a lot less room obviously so I could get away with a smaller bin and then in this bin underneath I have women's jeans so just jeans no leggings no sweats I try to categorize it in that way to make my life a little bit easier this is definitely a random bin right now 
Um, this room is by no means perfect. It's just what works for me at the moment. So in here I have like some new, with, new in the package items, some pajama sets, lots of purses, um, makeup bags, wallets. There's like random items in here for sure. And this is another, this one's easy for me to pull out. This is another sort of random um, bin. It has hats, water bottles, um, again, as you can see, random bathing suits, um, accessories. There's just tons of randomness in here, but right now it's working for me just to keep it separate from the clothes. All my racks um, have like a platform on the bottom, which was really important to me. This rack here is from Target. I already mentioned my husband built this rack. So this is a Target rack. It's like a black um, wrought iron material. So this rack here is all tops and I just tried to categorize them. So let me also note, this rack here is non plus size tops. I have a separate rack for plus size, which I'll get to. So I tried to categorize it by like hoodies, long sleeve kind of sweatshirts, but not sweaters, long sleeve blouses, um, three quarter length sleeve blouses, button up shirts, tank tops and workout shirts, short sleeves, polos, and then in this section here is like random LuLaRoe pieces. I had a friend, I think I've mentioned this in a couple reselling videos or maybe I haven't. I had a friend of mine who used to sell LuLaRoe like as her job, but she had another baby and LuLaRoe was kind of going downhill. She didn't have the time to dedicate to it. So I bought her out. I was like over a hundred pieces and this is all I have left is that little chunk right here. So that's pretty organized for me as far as category wise. It's just easier for me to go like from heaviest weight down to, you know, middle tank tops, that kind of thing. I do have a Dyson uh, vacuum hanging here just so it's off the floor. I clean this room constantly because of course I always want it to be clean. I like a clean home anyways, and I want everything in this room to stay clean and fresh. Moving on to my shoe racks. Um, this shoe rack here, I got at a garage sale a few years ago. This one here, I got at Walmart maybe six months ago. Um, I just didn't have enough room with this one and my inventory has expanded. So again, I tried to categorize like booties, um, kind of like closed toe shoes, sandals and open toe shoes, like clogs, loafers, sort of randomness. And then over here is more of like sneakers, kids shoes. So I have like sneakers. These actually just sold these Air Max. So I have to pull those and package them. So like Vans, Uggs, booties, sneakers, again, kid stuff, random. I tried to just do the best that I could. And then spinning back around to my clothes to the other side. So this is my main shipping station. If you've watched any of my what I sold videos, 99% of the time they're filmed right here in this little nook. This rack here is the same exact rack as that. They're both from Target. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, really good racks. They're about $40 and they've been wonderful for me. Um, so this rack here is from this jacket down to here is all my men's shirts. I have a couple random bigger boys hoodies here. This is like a utility jacket, some vests, and then women's jackets. So like jean jackets, fleeces, um, I have a couple like vintage coats and just random coats and fleeces, women's in that corner. And then again, this side is men's. This next rack is mainly plus size tops, except for a few items. So I think from like, no, I think for, yeah, from here down is all plus size blazers, coats, and I tried to categorize them from heaviest to button downs to three quarter length to short sleeves. Again, just to make it easier so I know when something sells exactly where it's going to be and I can just pull it. And then from here over are non plus size women's like sweater sweatshirts that are just a little bit bulkier and more of like knits rather than the rack behind me that I already shared with you. I keep a trash can here because I go through a lot of like tape um, and labels and just different things that go along with shipping and packing. And then on the bottom of these two racks, 
again, my shipping supply, shipping station. I do have a lot more shipping supplies and stuff downstairs. We have another bedroom downstairs that's currently a guest bedroom, but that actually holds a lot of our inventory for our Etsy shop. Uh, my husband has an Etsy shop, like a woodworking shop, so we house a lot of the inventory and back stock and shipping stuff down there as well. So on this shelf here, I've just got like bubble mailers. These brown boxes here we mainly use for our small Etsy shop orders. I have a bunch of the priority flat rate uh, padded mailers. I order all my USPS boxes from USPS.com. More priority boxes. Here I've got like my Poshmark thank you stickers. I've got some fragile stickers underneath there for our Etsy shop orders. Back stock of my thank you circle stickers. I've got little postcards here for our Etsy shop orders. I put these in with all of our Etsy shop orders with like a handwritten note, like a thank you for your order type of postcard, thank you card. My scale is right here. I got this scale many, many years ago. I want to say this scale is over 10 years old. It definitely is because I remember having this scale before I was even pregnant and my son is about to be nine. So that thing has been a true champ. It's literally weighed thousands of packages over 10 plus years. All my shipping supplies, by the way, that is not from the post office, stickers, um, poly mailers, which I'm going to get to, are all linked down below in my Amazon shipping supplies link. So scale, I just pull it out to usually right here and I can weigh it. I've got our um, bubble wrap. I go through I couldn't even tell you how many of these big rolls per year, a lot. Um, but anyways, anytime you see a brown box, that's usually for our Etsy shop. The bubble wrap is for a lot of our Etsy shop orders. Um, more boxes down here is where I keep my clear poly bags that you guys have seen if you've watched my What Sold videos. Uh, this is, they come in a box. These particular ones come in a box of a thousand. I have them on pre or pre order. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? On auto delivery, I have these. Usually I get a box every three months. If I still have plenty, I'll just pause that delivery. But usually, like every three to four months, I will need a box of a thousand. Uh, my packing paper here, I have several packages of this. Again, downstairs in the other bedroom for back stock, but I just like to keep a nice chunk up here that I'm going to need for different things. This is my kids' clothes bin. So kids' clothes are really small, obviously, so I have like baby, toddler, kids' clothes in here. They all fit nicely in that bin. That is a 31 uh, large utility tote where I have like an, a random box, and then I have tons of different like packing peanuts, uh, packing paper, like the little shreds, things like that. I also have some like tools in there, like a steamer to steam clothes, um, a lint roller, just things like that in that box. This is my main bin where I do a majority of my shipping. And all first class packages, meaning they're under a pound, go in these poly mailers. I have all different kinds of them, as you can see. So I've got my um, thank you poly mailers, green and black. These I use for men's orders, and then I have a variety of other prints. I just got these little foxes for fall. These I'm almost done with. I ordered 300 of these in the beginning of the summer, and I'm down to like five. Um, I've just got all different prints, some there, some hanging there. More of these priority bubble mailers because I go through a lot of these. And then in the bin underneath... I have these type of mailers, but in larger sizes. The ones I use most of the time are 10 by 13, but in the bin under here, I have like the 15 by 11 and the larger sizes for larger items that are large in size, but they are light in weight. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't miss anything. I just try to give you like a general overview without being too long-winded um, because I know these videos can get super long. But this is just what I'm working with right now. Um, it's working really well for me. I like that I have this big empty space because I can plot out all my orders and do all my shipping, packaging, weighing, 
um, and all of that. So it's working really well. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it maybe a little bit interesting if this is something you do already and you're looking for ideas to organize your own inventory or if you're somebody that's thinking about becoming a reseller and starting off, um, hopefully you got some inspiration. But ho I hope you have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. <music>